Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Is your browser plagued by notifications and pop-ups telling you that you have a virus, need a new partner, or that you need to invest in stocks or cryptocurrency? We can help. It happens. You're searching the web looking for something and a site pops up an alert of some sort. You're distracted, you don't really read it, and you just click OK. Next thing you know, your computer is deluged in pop-ups and notifications. Sometimes just occasionally in the bottom right corner. Sometimes taking over the whole screen, speaking to you and urging you to call Microsoft or your bank. The good news is that your system is probably completely clean. You have not lost all your money and the whole thing can be fixed in about two minutes or less. So what have you done? You've turned on a feature of your browser called notifications. The sort of thing that might tell you that you've got a new email in a web-based email, or even a movie or TV series recommendation from Netflix. The idea was great, but the scammers had to go and ruin it all as usual. So how do I turn them off? Firstly, let's see if we can see which site is causing it. It's usually listed on the last line of the pop-up like this. If something is taking over the whole screen, try pressing F11 to shrink it back to normal size and see if it displays then. Otherwise, just pre keep pressing Alt F4 to close the windows. You may even have to do it several times as they do sometimes layer them one over the top of another. Be aware that if you hit Alt F4, which is really just close window, on something that you are working on, it may be lost if you haven't saved the changes. That said, whatever application you're in should pop up asking you to save before quitting. Make sure you press yes if it's something you want to keep. Once the pop-ups are all gone, open or switch to your web browser. I'm going to demonstrate with Chrome. Others are similar. Go up to the three dots menu in the top right and select Settings. Now, you can either go to Security and Privacy on the left, or I like to just type Notifications in the search bar. Either way, click on Site Settings, and you will likely see the offending site right there in the Recent Activity list. If not, you might have to scroll down to Notifications and click on that. And then either find the offending site in the list or use the little search field in the top right corner. Once you've found the offending site or sites, you can either select the three dots on the end of that row and then click Block or click the arrow on that site for more details. Here you'll need to find Notifications and click the drop down box to change from Allowed to Block. You might also want to check ads and pop-ups and redirects as well and block them if appropriate. The site should now appear in your not allowed to send notifications list. Yay! There are some further options at the top to use quieter messaging or turn off notifications altogether, but that may cause unexpected results like a lack of web-based email notifications and other things that you do expect. It's totally up to you. At least you now know how to go about turning it off and on. If you still can't find the offending pop-ups, try looking in the Microsoft Edge browser. Sometimes they hide in there, even if it's not the browser you normally use. If you are worried from a security point of view, it might also be worth doing a scan with Malwarebytes just to make sure the machine is completely clean. There's a link to an episode about Malwarebytes up here. Question of the day, have you ever been caught by notifications or pop-ups that you weren't expecting? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.